One, two, one, two, three, four. Those vegan guys. I thank you. Oh, I'm so kitchen busy with all my plastics. Hiya, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are Those, those Vegan Guys. I told you I was going to do that. Every time, time every time. <laughs> so we've, we've chatted, we've chatted uh, with, with folk. We've asked, what would you like to see from, from our videos? And a couple of these people have now said uh, meal planning. Would be a good thing. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so we thought, right, well, uh, not every video has to be a cooking video, and not every cooking video has to be cooking something from scratch. So the meal that we're having tonight, well, you tell them about what we generally call it. So this is kind of like our our Greek, isn't it? Yeah. It's well, Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Yeah, Mediterranean um, meal that we have on a regular basis. Um, and it's made up of all different kinds of things, but um, Paul's been working all day, I've been teaching today, uh, it's been pretty full on, it's a Saturday, mm -hmm. and um, sometimes, as Paul said before, you want to come home and just essentially have a load of really nice things you can just put together um, and make a fabulous meal. Yep. So what we do with our Mediterranean platter, if you like, we've, we kind of, it's, it's like all meals, I, I, I suppose, it started as something a few years ago whereby we'd have a, a couple of bits of hummus and some falafel and salad and pita bread mm. um, and those core elements have always stayed there now uh, but this is where the meal planning el element comes in handy so I'll get to that in a moment mm -hmm. so tonight we're having these falafels now if you can't see things as Jason holds them up if you can't see things clearly or the lights too bright uh, when we get to the end of the ingredients, I'm going to um, insert a picture in the video of them all, which will be a lot clearer. So these are... Now, <clears throat> we used to have cauldron falafels. We did. Didn't we? We did, uh, yes. And then there were some other ones we found in Tesco's, which were frozen. We tried them and they were all right. But then we found these in Sainsbury's. Veg vegetable. 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 Uh, irresistible vegetables. Falafel with sweet chilli sauce centre. And they're actually beautiful, they're quite sizeable, aren't they? They're quite sizeable, those falafel balls. Yep, so you whack them in the oven at 200 for like 20 minutes, tells you back at packet. Two pound, by the way, for a pack of... Was it 10? I believe there's nine, nine. because we did the whole 5-4 uh. thing last time. So we'll have falafels, we'll have two different kinds of hummus, we're having the Moroccan hummus. Hopefully you can hopefully you can see it. From Sainsbury's and marked vegan. On the front. Clearly visible, which is always an added bonus. Yep. And we're having the Be Good um, Puri Puri hummus, which is again marked vegan. And uh, they do quite a few hummuses in the um, Be Good range. Just if you're, you know, watching your calorie intake, which I so desperately need to be doing at the moment. Uh, I really wish I had this guy's metabolism, but alas, 50's there, June the 17th. Hi 50, I'm coming. 50's there. I've got um, a little bit more time before I hit the big four up. Yeah, and it's just, honestly, take this as a warning, it's just got, only the last couple of years, much more difficult for me to maintain my weight. I'm starting to put it on here and I'm like, I'll have no man, Betty. I'm a drag queen, for goodness sake. How dare you? How dare you? That was another quote, then. How dare you? How dare you call me inhumane? Classic. Classic. Uh, so then, yeah, just to finish off, um, we've got the lemon and coriander couscous. Yes, that's from Tesco's. Marked vegan on the back. Suitable for vegans. Whereas yeah. the Sainsbury's own lemon and coriander couscous is only marked suitable for vegetarians, although there is nothing non-vegan in the ingredients, so that must be a cross-contam. But we shop at kind yeah. of both places, yeah. it's convenient for having a car. And I, I do apologise if some of these, as Paul said before, if some of these, uh, we don't have a monitor here, um, we've got quite a basic setup. 
Um, so if some of these are not coming through clear, um, we'll we'll do our best to kind of um, do a photo or something. So. Well, I've done a photo. Oh, brilliant! Of all of this stuff in yeah. one. So when we get to the end of this bit, and this stuff has transformed our salads. Yeah, everybody, well, not everybody, lots of people talk about uh, trying to get a half-decent vegan cheese. Um, and although this is a very specific type, yes, it's fabulous. It is amazing. It's Sainsbury's Greek-style vegan cheese. And it is very much like feta. I would actually say, and I've said it before and I'll say it again, it reminds me of both feta and goat's cheese. The solid goat's cheese we used to eat when we were vegetarian. Yeah, vegetarian. actually, yeah. It's a good uh, point. It reminds me of both of those. Um, so we'll have falafel. We'll have a blob of uh, hummus, of each hummus, each. We'll have a scoop of lemon and coriander couscous. We'll have a lovely little salad uh, thrown together. And the essential ingredients in that for us are sliced pimento olives, a crumble of the Greek cheese, and red onion. And then leaves and matters, yeah. basically. Uh, so you don't need to see us cook this or throw it together. We will show you what it's like when we're sat and it's plated, because I'm, I'm liking those shots, Jason. Oh, the sweep shots. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and I don't know, I mean, you're gonna be obviously carrying on doing your thing in the kitchen, I might just sneak in with the camera and just film a little bit, but we'll see. I might sneak in with the camera and film a little bit. This is because I've been watching a music hall DVD in work today, which was actually really interesting. Yeah. Uh, the History of Music Hall. 1930s-ish. Even, even earlier than oh, that. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, yeah. cool. Um, Something else we wanted to tell you. I'm actually a bit. I feel a bit silly, Jason. Why, Jess, Jason? I feel a bit silly. Why? Well, because. It's going to red coat mode now. I tell you for why, Jason. I feel a bit silly. Because we went out last night, and we had a lovely meal that we could have took pictures of. We could. And we have. didn't. Yeah. And I should tell you for why. Why? Both of you. For why? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why. Why? I feel like I'm being scolded. Because. We were with our lovely friends who we don't get to see enough, um, Sasha and Andrew, who are very, very dear people to us and were uh, amazing actors in uh, Pink Triangle Theatre, which is a theatre company. Um, myself, Jason, Stuart, my drag daughter, my drag daughter, and a lovely lad called Tom formed in 2010. Um, and so they we were cast for quite a while. We, we were. Anyway, we, were. we went out last night. We we met them at ZZ's in Piccadilly in Manchester. Had a lovely meal, the five of us. Chatted about the possibility that Pink Triangle Theatre might be able to do something in the future. You know what I mean? Like, the, the odd show here and there. We used to do a very powerful piece of work tackling uh, LGBT phobias uh, in schools and colleges. And it was brilliant. It yeah, was, it, was. it was amazing yeah. work. Loved it. Uh, the play got seen. It was just a little thirty-minute performance. Got seen by over eleven thousand people nationally, um, and that included prisons, schools, colleges, yeah. places of work. Uh, it, it was amazing. Special place in our hearts. Very special place in our hearts. Look us up. We're still we've still got stuff out there. Oh yeah. Um, oh, oh yes. Oh yeah. Yes. So used yeah. to be in the Pink Triangle Theatre. Oh yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> Do I know you from the window? No. Oh. Uh, that's an ode to someone dear to my heart, and Stuart's heart, and vicariously now, Jason's heart also. I didn't want it in my heart. <laughs> didn't have a choice. Anyway, the point was we didn't take any pictures, but the meal at ZZ's was really good, wasn't it? It was. It was uh, It was great. And it's consistently good there, to be fair. It is. You know, they, and the staff are fabulous. It, but yeah. first and foremost, the food is great. Uh, if you do get a chance to get to ZZ's anytime soon, then do definitely try the new cheesecake. It is sublime. Might actually be, and I said this last night, and I've had time to ponder, ponder, I've pondered. Wait. It Wait. Might... I can actually do a drum roll. Ah. Uh, it's the 
best cheesecake I've had since going vegan five years ago. Yeah, I know, you said last night, you said that bit. You said it might be, that, that is, and then you said it might even be the best cheesecake I've ever had. Yeah, no, I think, yeah, I mean, the thing is, so it's memory. you retrospected about that and thought, yeah. nah, I might have No, because that's the thing, it's memory, and it's like beyond sort of five years, like, unless something, there isn't anything that stand out from, like, years ago, pre-vegan, that I'm like, oh, yeah, that's the best thing I've ever eaten in my life, so... Yeah, I'd say it's probably the best cheesecake I've ever had mm. from ZZ's. Hey, if you ever fancy a cheesecake, by the way, you can buy a frozen one called Divine or Heaven or something. Lemon in Sainsbury's in the freezers, obviously frozen, uh, which is vegan. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. Very it's not bad. I'd give it a six and a half out of ten, maybe a seven at a push. If I think part of it, of course, is with stuff like that, you're buying it frozen, and then you're defrosting it. If you're defrosting it in your fridge, you're defrosting it at room temperature, it's going to be different in terms of the consistency um, of the kind of, you know, the the whole thing, isn't it? What was it we did that with? The tart from Asda. The Asda chocolate tart at Christmas. The first one we had, Jason defrosted in the fridge. Mm -hmm. For I defrosted out. Didn't I like? And it was so much nicer. Yeah. So it didn't, the flavour was fuller, it was, it was softer, really soft. it was, yeah. So what did you have last night, you starter? Oh, yeah. I had the bruschetta, sorry, yeah. I was I, I was thinking, here's the thing, I've got a terrible memory. Yeah, not that You bad. may or may food. not be aware. Not when it comes to food. So I was like, oh, I thought he was going to ask me like what, I was, what I'd had on my pizza or something. No, like that, so. what did you do? Bruschetta, it was yeah. gorgeous. And I had a new dish called beet balls. It's, it's not a kinky thing done by a dominatrix. I was surprised too. It's um, it's balls like little falafel shapes of beetroot, a bit like a beetroot falafel actually, with a, a lovely rich tomato sauce and a drizzle of vegan cheese. It was gorgeous. And then I had the uh, margarita. No, I didn't. I had the zucco. I had the vegan zucco, and you had the. I had just had a pizza. That's all I know. On it. Yeah, Rock it was. It run yours. Yeah, and I asked for extra chili because I like a, I like a little bit of spice from my pizza. Like, yeah. Well, just in general. Yeah. Really. And then we have the cheesecake for dessert. So ZZ's, I honestly highly recommended. Z I Z Z I ZZ's. That'd make a great promo for. Them. I don't reckon they'd go oh, for it. Oh, yeah. Too much like Zorro. Mm. Oh, something else to show you. Now, when I'm eating healthier and when I'm dieting, I used to have in the morning, this is a good tip, trust me girls and boys, and theirs and thems. Um, in the morning, I used, to, I used to buy a bag of Morn Flake porridge oats, you know, and I would make it with uh, the dark oh, the dark chocolate almond milk and then I'd put blueberries and strawberries in it and it's a really healthy start to the day and you can do it with just plain soy milk or banana flavoured or strawberry well, right. yeah. make your own flavoured anyway I found these today in Home Bargains Morn Flake Oats to go uh, so I've bought the original and the golden syrup, and they are both marked, obviously suitable for vegetarians and vegans, although some porridges don't have, you know, that mark on them. And some porridges, I guess, are. Guess how much, ask me how much. Imagine how two old, much? Wait, imagine with two old ladies that both E, Deirdre. I bought these uh, Marm Flake Oats to go from Home Bargains. Eight sachets in each box. What did you say? Eight sachets in each. No, book. what's the pretext? We're old people. Yeah. On a bus. Yeah. You can be an old man if you want. Okay. I'm looking out the window. Man. I gathered. E, how much were they? Oh, do you know? Ninety nine pence. A mere ninety nine pence. A penny shorter a pound. Nice. Marvelous. So there you go. A tip for you. Um, we will. Uh, we'll see you in there, like we normally do, when we're you know. Stop in the faces. <laughs> As I said in the last video. This is the fourth. Sorry. Now. This is the final tip about the meal planning. 
the hummuses that we'll have with this meal tonight, my brain starts, right, what can we do with them? Do you remember Jason's baked tater video a couple of weeks ago? If there's enough left. Oh, there will be, because I'll just use a quarter of a pot each now, and we'll have a quarter of a pot each and our baked potatoes. Okay. That way we get to use up the hummuses with two delicious meals a couple of days apart. Meal planning. started then um but you didn't no i rarely do um because i think it's just nice for you to take the lead often finish plate and the wonderful thing about this meal i'll tell you what we do because again it was something that, that developed you know over it evolved with this meal rip these in half these that have had a five minutes in the oven as well again from sainsbury's all right rip them in half and stuff them Full of stuff. Oh yeah. Falafel, hummus, salad, bit of couscous, and sit there having Mediterranean sandwiches with a nice glass of vino. Cheers, everybody, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers. to you lot. Cheers. Cheers, love. Mm. So hopefully this video has been helpful, at least to show you one really quick, really tasty meal that you can throw together when you've been working and you just want to, you know, half an hour really to to put this together mm. and none of that labour intensive it, that's waiting for the the falafels to cook yeah and we'll use the hummus with baked potatoes in a couple of days so uh we've got two meals for the next few days planned there just because they're buying two pots of hummus pretty awesome really all very reasonably priced all pretty healthy it's a win-win yeah definitely recommend if you're not a shopper at sainsbury's Absolutely recommend a trip there anyway to uh, even the Oldham, uh, which is where we're from, uh, the store there has never been, has never had all the stuff in, has it? No. You found that the one in Thameside in Ashton is much better for vegan stuff, but it's catching up. We called into Oldham today. Mm -hmm. So all the, you know, even the, and it's not a small store, really. No, not at all. Uh, but it's just been behind with what it's stocked and it's started to stock that kind of stuff now. So... Have a look. Still waiting for the vegan croissants, though, in both the Ashton and Oldham. Sandwich. And the pan of chocolate. Hey, but don't forget, both of them you can buy just roll and make yourself at home. True. Uh, and they're vegan. Yeah. So, you know. Anyway, thank you for watching another Those Vegan Guys video. Uh, don't forget, Tameside Radio on the 1st of February, Friday the 1st of February, about 12 noonish. And uh, if there is a podcast of said show, The Vegan Corner, Available afterwards, we'll link it to you, obviously. And if you're watching this after that's happened, because you could be watching this 500 years from now, possibly, in the future, then look it up anyway. Because I be... really like the idea of that. Oh, it'd be nice. I like the idea of in some high schools. These were typical egotistical homo sapiens of the day. And they'd have us all wrong. They would, wouldn't they? They'd they have would. read us right wrong, they would. Because he'd dust in his house because of that bright light. And I'm sick of it. And I want the tea. Love you, though. Love you. Love you. Mm. Be excellent to each other. And we'll see you on the next one.